we take a look at daylight savings, see how Wildcat Sports are doing, and check up on the weekend weather with Chris Adele. This is the Weekly Roar with your hosts, Corey Hegel and Aaron Alt. Wildcat Sports with Eric Bowles. And a look at Wildcat weather with Carissa Daup. Hello and welcome to the Weekly Roar. I'm Corey Hegel. And I'm Aaron Alt. We have an exciting show for you today, Switch. including a look at the weekend's temperatures, springing forward, and the boys' basketball journey to tournaments. But first, Aaron, what did you do this morning? Well, I showered, of course, brushed my teeth. Why? Well, imagine being overseas without your suave shampoo and your Crest toothpaste. That is one of the issues our troops overseas may face daily, being miles away from home for months at a time without some of their favorite comforts. National Honor Society is collecting items to send overseas to our servicemen and women through March 13th. As of now, Mr. Pangborn's base is in first place, Ms. Edmiston's base is in second place, and Mrs. Facemeyer's bases are tied for third. Help us make this drive a success and donate to your base through Friday, March 13th. Well, Corey, that sounds like a cause worthwhile. I'll encourage everyone to lend a helping hand. It sure is, Aaron. Now let's get started with a look at weather conditions this weekend with Carissa Dow. Carissa? Thanks, guys. Going into this weekend and early next week, the weather will feel more like springtime. Taking a look at the national map, there is not much going on, just some precipitation to the west and some cloud coverage. A look closer to home shows precipitation to the south and a little bit of cloud coverage. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 60 and a low of 45. This next week's temperatures will start to warm up and feel more like springtime. Saturday will be partly cloudy with a high of 63 and a low of 45. Sunday will be partly cloudy with a high of 69 and a low of 43. Monday will be partly cloudy with a high of 51 and a low of 32. And Tuesday will be cl partly cloudy with a high of 51 and a low of 35. That's it for weather. Back to you guys. Thanks, Carissa. I'm so glad it's finally starting to warm up. I mean, I would love to trade the icy temperatures and snow for the smell of freshly cut grass and rain on a spring day. But Corey, keep in mind with the joyous spring comes the remainder of what we have to set our clocks forward for. And you're saying? Less sleep, Corey. Fall, fall back, spring, spring forward. Looks like I will be heading to bed much earlier tonight. Let's he head over to Brad with some information on the time changes. Whew. You guys, uh, Sunday at 2 a.m. to spring your clocks forward an hour. Some of the positives of daylight savings time is increased day activities, fewer crimes, and energy conservation. Daylight savings also saves energy, which saves you money in return. The negatives of daylight savings is sleep disruption, inconvenience, and drowsy mornings. It's going to affect like when I get my homework done, um, sleeping, um, probably what time I get to go to bed at night. And I think I'm going to be a lot more tired because we're losing an hour of sleep. Well, I'll probably show up to work late a few times and yeah, probably get in trouble for that. That's all right. Less hours of sleep and more hours in the day. That means you get school a different time. Daylight savings was repealed, but the time zone standard remained in law. Later, when World War II broke out, daylight savings was reestablished, also known as wartime. Do you know that Detroit kept their local time until 1900, where ha the city council voted to go to standard time, but then only half the city followed the request. It took all the way up to 1905 for the whole city to be in standard time. So remember to spring your clocks forward Sunday, March 8th at 2 a.m., one hour. Thanks. Back to you guys. Well, setting the clocks forward means I have one less hour to work on my scholarship applications. Well, Aaron, head over to the guidance office. There are quite a few scholarships available, including the Newark Teachers Association Scholarship, the ADK Beta Gamma Educational Scholarship, the Down Syndrome Scholarship, the Licking County Home Economics Association Scholarship, the American Business Women's Association Scholarship, as well as the Energy Cooperative Scholarships, the Time Warner Scholarship, Licking County Soil and Water Conservation Scholarship, Mary Barnes Nimble Thimble Scholarship, and the Father Castro Mara Scholarship. 
And last but not least, the Newark Granville Altrusa Club, as well as the Heath Altrusa Club, are offering scholarships. The deadlines for all of these are approaching quickly, so head over to the guidance department in the hub for more information. Well, with all this talk of scholarships, it reminds me that the end of the 2008-2009 school year is approaching and the prom and prom is just around the corner. It is time to start preparing for the senior class video for after prom. Senior students need to turn in their pictures to Mrs. Evans in the gym and they need to be on CD. We are not able to take any photos that are not on CD. The deadline to submit your CD is March 20th. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Evans or Mr. Phil Hauer. With that said, it should also remind you about this time of year, the boys varsity basketball team is heading to tournaments. Let's check in with Eric Bowles for an update on sports. Eric? Thanks guys. The boys basketball team competed very well against their opposition, Marion Franklin, this past week. Cody Dennison led the Cats with a 16 points, followed by Rollin Watson with 15, Ryan Dirks with 14, Sean O'Keefe with 7, James Krizawa with 6, and Taylor Huffman with 2. The Wildcats defeated Marion Franklin 60 to 49. The guys will face off with Upper Arlington this Saturday at 2.30 at the Coliseum. The Lady Cats fared pretty decently against the number one Kaufman. Sarah Bennett led the Lady Cats with 16 points, followed closely by Olivia Bybee, who scored 14 points. The ladies lost 57 to 42. Tyler Rinaldi, Newark's only wrestler to make it to districts, lost his final match last Friday to Austin Bauer, ending his journey towards a state championship. That's it for sports. Back to you guys. Thanks, Eric. Now that we're on the subject of sports, track athletes and those interested in doing track need to stop by Mrs. Nash's room in 15D to pick up the rest of their fundraiser materials. Also, if you were unable to attend last week's meeting, please stop by and get all of your information. Are you a bowler and want to continue competing? Starting March 12th, there will be a 10-week season for high school bowlers at Valley Lanes. There will be an organizational meeting about league on March 5th at 6 p.m. for coaches, parents, and bowlers. The team will consist of four bowlers per team, and the cost will be $6 per bowler each week. Also, attention softball players. You have conditioning today at the Jimmy Allen Gym at 445. Just a reminder, the Literary Magazine meeting has been rescheduled for Monday at 3 p.m. in room 103H. Anybody like to bowl? Or are you stressed out about OGTs? Then come to the Valley Lanes on 21st Street to bowl your stress away in the Foreign Language Bowling Tournament on March, Thursday, March 19th, excuse me, after school. The cost is five bucks a person, which includes two games and bowling shoes. Games will be bowled in four-person teams. Sign up with any foreign language teacher by Tuesday if you're interested. Prizes will be rewarded to the top bowler in each language and to the top team. There will be a brief meeting for peer mediators on Monday, March 9th, right after school in room 200E. Please bring your t-shirt designs with, with you so we can vote on them. The boys basketball team advanced to play the Upper Arlington Golden Bears this Saturday, March 7th at 2.30 at the State Grounds at the State Fairgrounds Coliseum. Tickets will be on sale every day in the athletics office for $6. Please buy your tickets here. We will get $1 for each ticket sold. Well, that's all we have for the show today. Mr. Fullen would like to remind students and teachers that our next makeup days will be held Saturday, March 21st and Thursday, June 4th. We'll be back next week. Have a great weekend. We leave you with the alma mater. Go Cats! Newark High School, Newark High School, loyal now thy children stand. As we lift our song to praise thee, better school in all the land. All the strong may be thy rivals, they cannot withstand thy might. For we all shall be defenders of the crimson and the white. Be not right.